Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create your own navigation menu otherwise known as a nav menu or nav bar across the top of your WordPress blog. What I'm doing right now is mousing over the different tabs in the navigation menu, the nav bar, whatever you want to call it. Okay, So as I click on, for instance, this tab right here, it will bring me to the about page. If I click on this tab here, it will bring me to test page number one vitamins, as you can see, and the same thing will happen if I click on page, test page number two or the WordPress videos. Now, I'm going to click back on the about page to go back there. I have, I happen to have two sidebars, sidebar one and sidebar two in this thesis theme. And at the top of sidebar one, I have a pages widget. And the pages widget lists the static pages that are used in this particular WordPress blog. So if I click on, for instance, test page number two, bicycles, this link will bring me to the exact same page as if I were to click on test page number two, bicycles, in the tab up here. Okay, now watch with that tab as I click here. So you can see it's white up here. This nav navigation menu, when it changes to white, it lets you know that's the page you're on. If I click on test page number one vitamins here, it lets me know that's the page I'm on. And if I click on about here, you can see that the tab becomes white and lets you know that's the tab that you're on. I'm using for this video WordPress version 3.0.1 with the thesis theme version 1.8 and you must be using some version of the thesis theme or the techniques that I'm teaching you here today will not work. So you've got to be using the thesis theme. What I'm going to do right now is pause the video. I'm going to delete these four tabs up here starting with about I'm going to delete these four tabs and then I'm going to restart the video and then show you how to create your own navigation menu from scratch. This is Jupiter Jim. We are back and as you can see at the top of this blog there is no navigation menu. Really there's only one tab for the navigation menu. That's the only one. Now under the pages widget in sidebar one as you can see here I still have the four static pages for this WordPress blog. I still have links to them. Let me click on a couple of the links you, so you can see the pages still exist. The static pages still exist it's just that we don't have links or tabs that link to these pages in the nav menu at the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to do it. It's really easy. First thing I need to do is click on this tab in my Google Chrome browser, and that will bring me to the dashboard of this blog where I have already logged in. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to scroll to the top, and you can see we're in the dashboard for the Jim's Max GXL team. What you need to do at this point is you need to scroll down and there will be, if you have the thesis theme installed and that's what you need, you're going to have a tab for, that says thesis, okay? And then you can click on the down arrow and you're going to have six little links here. You just need to click on that top link which says site options. Then you go over here to navigation menu and I'm going to click on the plus and you have two choices. If you want to learn how to use the WordPress nav menu, you can go to wordpress.org and it will teach you about their new nav menu feature that's installed in WordPress 3.0.1. But what I'm going to teach you is how to use the thesis nav menu that works with the thesis theme. Now, as I click this radio button, see how you get more choices. When you go back to the WordPress nav menu, you don't get those choices anymore. So I'm going to click here. I have several tabs. I'm going to click on the little plus sign. When your mouse over it, it turns orange, I'm going to click on that plus sign. And right here you have the text for that home tab. And it needs to be clicked. You don't, there's no point in clicking this square down there. So I'm going to go back up to the tab that has our blog. I'm going to click on the home page. See how it goes, turns white as we get home. So that is, this little tab here exists in the navigation menu because of this, all this information right down here in the uh, thesis theme control panel. Okay, now the feed link, don't worry about that. It has to do with the RSS feed. It's unimportant. These other two tabs, add more links and categories, once again, that's not what this video is about. This video is, is about 
showing you how to take static pages and adding them to the nav menu at the top of your WordPress blog that uses the thesis theme. So I go to pages up here, click on the plus, and as you scroll down, first of all, there's going to be a couple of paragraphs here of some good information. Don't skip over it. It might help you. And then you're going to see we have four tabs that correspond to the four pages in this WordPress blog. So I'm going to click the About. I'm going to click here. One, two, four. Very, very simple. I'm going to click the big ass Save button. Okay. Now I'm going to mouse over the name in the upper left hand corner of the blog. Right click, get the drop down menu. Left click on Open Link and New Tab. And as I click on the tab for the browser, you can see that the nav menu has been created. Let's just click on test page number one vitamins. So we've created a nav bar or a nav menu, and we've demonstrated that it works. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back to the dashboard, and I'm going to create a page from scratch and then add it to the nav bar. Okay. Let's, what we need to do is go under Pages, click Add New, go up here where it says Title, and just type in Test Page Number 3, Traveling, and this page is about traveling. Surprise, surprise. And I'm just going to right click and paste right here some text that I copied while the video was paused, okay? And there's just some Latin text. It's just filler text. It's just placeholder. So I'm going to click publish. I'm just going to delete this tab here. We don't need it. Now I'm going to click this tab, which brings us back to our blog. And then I'm going to you can see there's four pages here, so I'm just going to click the Reload or Refresh button up here. And the page we just created, test, th test Page Number 3 Traveling, appears in the pages here, but you can see it is nowhere to be found in the nav menu. So we're going to go back into the dashboard. I'm going to scroll down once again to Thesis, click on Site Options, click on Pages, put a check mark in the check box right there, scroll up. Click the big ass save button. Go back to the tab that holds our blog. Click refresh or reload. And you can and you can see test page number three traveling is created. Let's click on that. Okay, and it works. So all the tabs work, the navigation menu works, everything's fine. And in future videos that are coming out very shortly, I'm going to be showing you how to move the tabs around, rearrange them, and redo the text on the tabs. Okay, so stay tuned.